welcome back up. Oh, man, I hate it when that happens. Welcome back to Cottage Tech, Cottage Creations. Um, as you see, we're back at the old Cottage Tech picnic <coughs> table. The Cottage picnic table, the Cottage Tech workbench as it's also known, the Cottage Creations workbench. Now, as you know, we had Wi-Fi at the cottage. Um, we finally got internet access at the cottage and we do use Wi-Fi. We had a bit of a Wi-Fi meltdown with the system this weekend, but that's not a big deal. Well, with the we use a 3G uh, uh, Wi-Fi uh, 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 hub sort of thing, and of course because we got a lot more than just one computer, which is, that's fine for one computer. We got more than one. We got we got a whole bunch of laptops. We've got netbooks. We've got laptops. We've got iPads and smartphones and all kinds of stuff. We need more than one thing. So we actually need Wi-Fi, not just uh, 3G internet. Cottage. So we've traditionally used one of these. Yep, you got it. This is a WR uh, a Linksys. WRT54GL. Yeah, you got it. This is the one that runs Linux. Um, uh, it's got five ports, five uh, five port switch. It has a uh, um, uh, 24 gigahertz, um, uh, or oh, sorry, 2.4 gigahertz uh, Wi-Fi. Uh, it's a pretty good router. The best thing about it is, it's totally hackable. It runs Linux, so it's totally hackable. I run WRT uh, WRT DDWRT on this and um, uh, it works great in the cottage. But it got me thinking, this is such a hackable device, um, what else could we do? Now, then I read a white paper and I discovered there's an entirely new Wi-Fi standard out there that's just been released. We've gone through 802.11a, 802.11b, g, uh, n. Now we're up, there's a new one, 802.11ac, and it got me thinking something I've always wanted to do. And considering this is so hackable, and really there's nothing in here but a Wi-Fi chipset, uh, of course the, uh, the antenna, the, 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 uh, the, the, the radio receiver for it, and some transistors, stuff like that. I wonder if I could get the chipset out of, a, of, out of an 802.11 AC router, just what we could come up with. Well, guess what I was able to do? We, put, we were able to get a hold of one, pull the chipset out of it, and I got to work on the old Cottage Tech workbench. And guess what I've come up with? You've got it. The 802.11 AC wireless cordless extension cord. You got it, you've seen it here first. This is the plug unit. You plug this into an outlet. Of course, electronics are getting so small these days, we can cram a lot inside this thing, this bad boy. And here we have our Wi-Fi antenna. So 802.11 AC, you plug this into an outlet, 802.11 AC, we got AC current going out of this antenna. Now down on the other end, you need to plug something in, here you got your socket, we've got our Wi-Fi antenna, crammed a lot of electronics inside this little thing, and here we have our 802.11 AC plug to plug something into. You got it, our cordless extension cord. We've finally done it. Now of course, let's face it. There's times when I mean this is great when we run around want to run on like an iPod dock down on the do, on the on the dock or something like that you know an iPod player or something like down on the dock or a ghetto blaster or something like that and that's great for that it doesn't draw a lot of current it's 250 feet down to the dock so we can't don't want to run a regular extension cord so this is really handy for that you know how we love power tools down the dock every now and then we need power tools we need to run uh, we need to run a power washer to wash the boat we need to run a battery charger to charge the battery in the boat. We need to run a, 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 a hammer drill or a skill saw down the dock. You know how much we love plugging power tools in the water. So we need something with a little bit more horsepower. This wasn't going to cut it. So obviously we can't get big power transistors and that in there. We need something else. So we went back to the drawing board and we came up with the 802.11 AC wireless cordless extension box. Yep, two outlets, 110 volts, 15 amp circuit. Obviously we had to go with a much bigger antenna on this box because we're pulling an awful lot more current through this thing. So we had to go with a much bigger antenna. But here we came up with it. 802.11 AC cordless extension cord power box. And you know something? The best thing about it is it actually works. You want to see it? Okay. So we got our power box, we got our Wi-Fi, we need a power tool. 
Let me get the. Mm. Let me get that beer out of the way. I just happen to have the old Cottage Tech skill saw here. This is something we use down the dock a fair bit. This is something we want to be able to power off this bad boy. So let's just see how this works. This is just a okay. It's not really a skill saw. It's actually a Black and Decker, but not to worry about it. We'll just we'll just plug this bad boy in, and uh, and we'll 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 just see what happens. Okay. So silly me. I forgot to plug in the sender unit. So we'll plug in the sender unit, and we'll 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 give it a minute to. Uh, We'll, we'll give it a minute to um, to do its thing and pair up and we should be good now. Is that incredible or what? It actually works. That's amazing. So we've actually done the 802.11 AC cordless extension cord. I gotta tell you, this is phenomenal. This is gonna change technology at the cottage. By the way, um, 802.11 AC runs on, I think it's about five gigahertz. That's like microwave levels. So with the amount of current we're pulling through this, don't step between these things. The current, the, the microwaves, it'll fry your liver. Plus also, for those who are security conscious, this isn't open Wi-Fi. Yeah, we're actually running, um, we're actually running uh, um, uh, WPA PSK2 um, uh, 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 encryption on it as well as Blowfish 428 bit uh, asynchronous uh, keys on it. So this is secure. We don't have to worry about the neighbors uh, pooching our power in like that. There you have it the wireless cordless extension cord. And best of all, it works. Thanks for coming to Cottage Tech Cottage Creations. We'll see you next time. Thanks for coming by.